hi and welcome to this Bolt Pro tutorial where I will show you how to swap filament. I will use two methods, a regular method and an advanced method. Go to the print tab and select either swap left or right filament. Follow the instructions on the screen by selecting the type of material you will be loading and amount of filament on the spool left. Press next. While the printer is heating the nozzle, I can disconnect the guidance tube, open the compartment and start loading the filament. Disconnect the guidance tube by pressing the coupling ring down and pulling the tube up. Then open the compartment, create a clean cut on your filament and start feeding filament into the Bolt Pro until it is visible at the end of the disconnected tube. Press continue and extrude more on the user interface and feed the end of the filament into the print head by hand. Reconnect the guidance tube when the print head is pulling filament into the print head by itself. By pressing complete and reconnecting the guidance tube, I successfully swap filament on the Bolt Pro. The benefit of the advanced method is that it's quicker and it allows you to switch both the left and the right nozzle at the same time. But if you're not familiar with this printer or with 3D printing, you might damage the machine, so be careful. For this method of swapping filaments, you need to enter head maintenance, choose settings, maintenance, select head maintenance and confirm. Preheat the nozzle first to remove the filament currently loaded. When it is preheated, you can press on unload. The main difference between the advanced and the regular method is in the software. So I still need to disconnect the tube and retract the old filament to replace it with a new spool. When removing a spool of filament, we advise you to hook the loose end of the spool through one of the holes for safekeeping. Also, mind how the filament is situated on the spool itself when loading it. If it is tangled in any way, filament can get stuck, resulting in a bad print. Continue loading it regularly. Now use Purge in Head Maintenance to start extruding filament and reconnect the guidance tube. When the print head is able to extrude the new filament by itself, you know it's loaded correctly. That was it for now. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at leapfrog.com or go to our website for more information, www.leapfrog.com. Thank you very much for watching.